common staple to Easter, eggs. To explain how to make sure your eggs are tasty is the author of the cookbook, Deviled Eggs, and a good friend of my Carolina today, Debbie Moose. Welcome, Debbie. Well, thank you for having me. It's Easter time and it's egg time. It is. I think you are the egg expert. You know more oh. about eggs than anybody else. Well, <laughs> you know, I, I will not dispute that with you. Okay, so Debbie, what makes a good deviled egg? Well, the first thing is to cook it properly. Oh, and what does that mean? The biggest mistake people make is overcooking those eggs, and you get that nasty green stuff around the yolk, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of disgusting. Well, the best way to do it, and I did this through the whole book, okay. is put the eggs in a pot, cold water to cover them, mm -hmm. bring it just up to a good boil, Okay. then pull that off of the heat and put a lid on the pot and let that sit for exactly 15 minutes. Okay. And then drain them and cool them down as fast as you can, whether it's cold running water mm -hmm. or if I'm making a lot, I'll make a bowl and put ice water in it mm -hmm. so I can just dump them all right in there. I think part of my problem is I'm so anxious. Mm -hmm. I, I, can't, I just have to be doing something to yeah. let it sit for 15 minutes is hard. Well, set your timer <laughs> and it will, then your, the timer will let you know when it's all done. Okay, what are the key <clears throat> ingredients? Because there's lots of different ways to make Oh, yes, eggs. I have 50 ways in my book. <laughs> wow, 50. And there's been more I've found since then. Then. Um, but the important thing is um, anything can go in a deviled egg pretty much. It's a blank canvas. And so think about what would go in an omelet or what would go in a, um, even a pizza. I've got a pizza deviled egg. But a these, pizza deviled egg? But these are the springtime herb eggs. I thought they mm. would be nice for spring and Easter. Mm. They have fresh parsley, fresh chives, fresh dill, a little bit of lemon juice. Mm. It's just a real fresh, light flavor. And people are thinking about Easter right now. Mm -hmm. um, you color all those eggs for the kids, you hide them, and you go, oh gosh, I don't want to waste those. Yeah. Well, really probably not a good idea to use them if they've been, if the Easter bunny hid them and they've been in, out under an azalea bush for an hour or so mm -hmm. in the heat. Mm -hmm. It's probably best to just get rid of those and just make some new ones to make deviled eggs Speaking out of. Speaking of that, if you want to share your deviled eggs, take them to a party yes. or to a friend's house, how long can they stay out? What's the rule on that? Well, if it's, you know, average room temperature, staying mm -hmm. out for, you know, a couple of hours probably fine. If you're at a picnic where it's pretty warm, you might want to sit them in a, a tray of ice. Um, but if you've got mayonnaise in there, mayonnaise actually kind of helps as a preservative really? a little bit. Mm -hmm. But if it's outdoors okay. at a warm day, I would sit it in a uh, bowl of ice just okay. to be on the safe side. Very good information. Debbie, thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me, and I hope you like that double day. Uh, well, yeah, you can see I do. This is just <laughs> the first one. If you need help with your cooking, you can meet Debbie at two events this month. On Saturday, she'll be at the Wake Forest Farmer's Market from 9 to noon. Then later this month at the Taste the Event 2014 in Chapel Hill on April 23rd.